How's it going? Welcome back to another video. Um, today, I'm shooting my bow again. You may have guessed by the thumbnail. This time, I'm actually shooting 100 yards. I already got my warm-up shots in. I did some of what you guys uh, said. I pulled the trigger, slowly squeezed it, and I started drawing differently, and I think it actually might be helping. So I appreciate you guys for all that. Um, also, we are shooting this little deer from way over there by that little tree. We're shooting over 100 yards. We're doing this because I've been watching a lot of Cam Haynes and I love, love, love what he does. And if I'm gonna keep shooting deer at 50 yards, I would like to consistently be able to at least hit the body of this deer at 100. I'm going to take you guys back there with me on this camera. And I don't really have a second camera. Last time I used uh, Loud and Proud's camera to get the side shot of the penetration through the truck. So what I'm gonna do is maybe set up a sawhorse and try to get my phone to record the shots hitting from 100 yards so we'll see how that goes i'm not sure if i'll be able to get the phone clip in there but you guys will see if i do so let's get right to it we're going to go back in the truck and then we'll go ahead and get started shooting we'll shoot a couple groups at 100 maybe three or four and then what we'll do is we're going to go to my house i have an extra football helmet laying around i had a couple of them in high school and i kept one but um i want to see if a football helmet would be able to protect you at all from an arrow I know at a certain range it will protect you, but I'm almost betting that there's no chance it'll stop a broadhead considering the truck didn't either. I know the rage will blast right through because the blades will fall off, but uh, I don't know. We're gonna just shoot a Walmart $8, looks like a muzzy, muzzy copycat, fixed blade broadhead. And then so, that's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have my little brother there with me, probably gonna be on the thumbnail. If you guys saw the thumbnail, no, I'm not gonna shoot it while it's on his head. That would be completely ridiculous. No, I'm just going to shoot it on a sawhorse and shoot it that way. But yeah, thanks for coming and uh, let's get started. Right, so here we are. Um, I'm not sure if you can see, but way over there is the deer target. So 100 yards, let's see if we can, uh, not sure how this will work, but maybe you'll be able to see through the range finder and it'll show you that we are truly at. Okay, well that's not gonna work, is it? It was a nice try, didn't work. Here we go, 100 yards. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see me since we have the other camera rolling. Okay, I think that was a miss. Hi, I think. Might have hit the deer, we'll see when we get up there. All right, second arrow. I'm just holding right on, guys, so. Okay, so I do believe we got one body hit. Um, we're gonna go ahead and drive up there and see what happened. Okay guys, so I'm actually, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with myself uh, because I've never shot this far before, but if you check it out here, here's what we got. Obviously, none two in the vitals besides the one arrow here um, on a deer that may or may not have killed him. This one, I don't think so. Probably wouldn't have found it or got enough penetration from 100 yards. This one's all right. Um, don't know if I would have gone through the shoulder blade or not, but you guys are gonna be able to see what happened while that camera right there has been set up looking at this. But we're gonna go ahead and shoot, and then just get busy doing what we're what the what the thumbnail of this video is. So I'm pretty excited. Um, this is a lot of fun. Shooting bows long range is a lot of fun. There's not, I mean, maybe two mile an hour wind out here today. So I figured it was a really good day to do this. Um, I am pulling and draw or drawing and shooting like you guys were giving me tips. Squeeze the trigger, uh, pull back with el a higher elbow. And I think both of those are helping. Uh, I also moved my sight again to help it out. But uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and shoot a couple more. We'll just drive the truck back there and then I won't, even, I won't come up and show you guys both groups. We'll just show you on that phone. Round two at 100 yards. I shoot with my quiver on, it adds, it adds some extra weight for me um, and helps out quite a bit actually. All right, second group, 100 yards. Okay, that's a hit, I believe. Low, left of heart, I believe, on the leg. If 
Final shot of the second grouping. Okay, so I saw that one impact. It was high and back. That was where my pin was because I, I was hitting left with the wind. But even though it was only a two mile an hour wind, at this distance it's quite a bit. Um, so I know we have two body hits. Uh, we'll see where the third one went, but I'm gonna go ahead up, go up there with the iPhone camera and then come back here. Okay, so obviously we had two body hits. I wasn't aware that I hit this one right here. And the one I said high right on the body was the shadow I saw here. So I actually missed, but uh, that's about a 20 inch group. We want to get that down to about 10. So cut it in half for hundred yards. Uh, basically, I just want to put everything in this square right here. So we're gonna do this one more time. If it goes how we want, we'll be done and we'll go shoot that helmet. Here we go. 100 yards. Actually, I think that was a miss. I can see a shadow of an arrow underneath the body. We'll, we'll do that one again. That was high. But here we go again for our final shot for the third group. Okay. I'm actually going to walk up there. If there's plenty of battery life. I'll just give you guys a view of me actually going that far to see. Okay, so you guys saw, I walked all the way up there. There was two body hits, one really, really low one. Um, I think what happens at, at that distance, a lot of things affect that. It's either a little up or a little down or here or there. All we'll do is we'll pull hard, keep shooting. This is our last group. We're just gonna have to fight the wind. It's all about getting better. My goal is to elk hunt September of next year in Colorado by myself or whenever their elk season is, I'm not sure, but I would love to do something like that and go elk hunting at some point. But, so this is why I'm practicing long range shots like this so I can shoot half the distance like a cake shot. They say you should shoot half of what you practice, so that's why I'm shooting 100 today. Here we go. Sounded good. We'll do it again. Oof, I hit the branches on the tree that time. We're actually aiming so high that we're hitting the branches. Trying to shoot a little left of them, but it's not quite working for me. Even though I pulled it hard, I think I, I nailed it. Um, since that was our last group, we gotta get to shooting that helmet. Let's go check it out. Okay, so you, since you guys responded so well, well, actually, a lot of you guys really just loved critiquing me. And actually, I appreciate that kind of stuff. Whether it's like, don't be afraid to critique me and say, hey, dude, you're doing this wrong, as long as you know what you're saying. I figured I've always got something to learn from someone. So yeah, I appreciate your comments, whether they're good or bad. I got a little smudge on the screen, but I got three body hits on that deer. Let's check it out. Okay, so we were way back there shooting. Um, there's where I have the phone set up. And here's our grouping. So that's more like it. We're getting closer to 10 inches. I know that's like, I don't know, still at least probably 12 inch group here. But up and down, we're okay. Um, just maybe a little low. I did pull that one up in the front, but there's a kill shot on this at 100 yards. So that's the group. Um, there's the old first gen. We're gonna go shoot that helmet. Okay guys, so my battery's dying, but I got the camera set up and we're ready to roll. Jaden, get away from there. Get this way. Okay. You saw the thumbnail, no, I'm not shooting my brother. Here we go. Right to the side of the helmet. Walmart broadhead. If you were wearing that helmet, you're done for. Yike! Now the G5. Oh, by the way, it's like five yards. Side of the helmet. That's so cool. Okay guys, so check that out. Both opened up, both caused a lot of damage. Neither passed through. I mean, almost all, almost all the way through, but you can tell in there, the blades are stopped. That's pretty crazy. Sweet. Well, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching another video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. Please leave content ideas. I really am burning for some more ideas for you guys. Whatever you want to see, I'll do it. 
Okay guys, so a little disclaimer here. In the making of the thumbnail, no arrow or bow was pointed at my brother with the helmet on. It was the same frame picture cut in half and joined together. So I stepped out, he stepped in. That's how that worked. Just a little disclaimer, because I know some people are gonna be like, what the heck, he's pointing that bow right at him? No, I mean, that's, that's for the thumbnail itself. And it also is just to show you guys we're actually shooting a helmet. So, but all that being shown and the 100 yard shooting and the helmet and this and that, do not wear a helmet and let someone shoot it with anything ever or let anyone shoot you ever with anything. So, just a disclaimer there. That's how that was made. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Catch you on the next one.